So this treatment will continue as long as this BOD amount does not come down. So when we say BOD amount coming down means the potential to cause pollution decreasing or you can say amount of waste matter left in that sewage is decreasing. So that means this treatment in the aerobic tank will continue as long as this amount of BOD does not come down. And when there is a significant decrease in the BOD value, then the effluent from the aeration tank. Now, please remember, previously we had effluent from the primary settling tank. Now we are talking about effluent from the aeration tank is passed into the settling tank. Now there is another settling tank. Now uh, what will happen there? The flocks are going to undergo sedimentation. So in the settling tank, the flock will undergo sedimentation and now this sediment is, sediment is called as activated sludge. Now be careful, in the primary treatment we had primary sludge made up of just waste matter like sand, slit and pebbles. But in the secondary treatment, the activated sludge is made up of sed uh, settled or sediment of flock. What is flock? That mesh of microorganisms. Now a small part of this activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank. Now why this pumping is done? It is same like when we prepare fresh, um, fresh lot of curd or yogurt. We add a spoon of yogurt into milk. So in the same manner, we don't want to wait upon for microorganism to start growing. So we add some amount of the uh, flock from this activated sludge back into the aeration tank so the aeration tank always have good amount of flock so that more and more waste water which is coming from our homes hospitals schools colleges etc all this waste material is always continuously broken down by the flock so some amount of activated sludge is transferred back into the aeration tank now what happened next is all other our major part of the sludge is pumped into the large tank called as anaerobic sludge digester. Now that means secondary treatment is first always aerobic treatment followed by anaerobic treatment. Now what will happen? All that flock which is made up of aerobic microorganism now the conditions given are now conditions given to these microorganism is anaerobic so they all will die flock is going to die because conditions have become anaerobic now which type of microorganism will feed upon their dead bodies aerobic microorganism so uh, here other kind of bacteria other here means anaerobic condition digest the bacteria and fungi in the sludge and during digestion, they produce a mixture of gases like methane, self, uh, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. So you can say biogas is synthesized as a byproduct in this process. So these gases form the biogas which can be used as a source of energy because this gas is inflammable. And the spent sludge is, uh, can be used as manure or a part of compost and effluent now is generally released into the natural water body. So primary treatment involves physical treatment which has sequential filtration followed by sedimentation in the primary settling tank and, and then the effluent is shifted to the secondary treatment where first treatment is in the large aeration tank where the agitation of medium takes place, air is pumped, microorganisms are added and then Finally, the microorganisms here are aerobic heterotrophic microbes, bacteria and fungi. They start eating the waste material, bringing the BOD level down and they, can, they start forming flock. Once the BOD is significantly down, now the, now the whole content is shifted or flock is shifted into the settling tank where the flock is going to settle down to form activated sludge. So remember this is not primary sludge, activated sludge and this sludge is uh, some part of sludge is shifted back into the aeration tank to act like inoculum and rest all major amount is shifted into the anaerobic sludge digester where anaerobic microorganism will feed on these, this sludge and finally they prepare biogas as a byproduct which is inflammable and can be used for energy and now this effluent is now a lot clean compared to the initial condition and it is released into the water body. Remember some amount of 
micro organism is still there which micro organism anaerobic one remember these micro organism are going to die as this water reach, reaches the river because river again will have aerobic condition so what is the good thing in this whole process the number of micro organisms are coming down from a very good amount to lesser and least amount once it is released into water now just remember one more thing in case if this water is supposed to go for domestic purpose use so uh, if it is released into river then the only two steps are primary treatment and secondary treatment ncrt only explains this much just but just remember that in case if if there is going to be the supply of this water for domestic purpose in sectors or to colonies and all then the treatment another treatment is done that is called as a tertiary treatment which is also called as physico chemical treatment physico chemical treatment now what is physico chemical treatment uh, in this treatment chemicals are used for example ozone gas can be used per chlorate can be used chlora chlorine so uh, ions can be used otherwise the reverse osmosis is a physical physical treatment which is done so all these treatments are supposed to make the water clear of all those salts etc so that it becomes uh, usable for human so basically it this step is for disinfecting the water because it has to go for human uh, human consumption 